What's up beautiful people, today we're going to be checking out a video by Dr. Steve Turley. This one is titled, Italy Cancels Pride Month. Let's get to it. To you from Tokyo, Japan this week, but I just have to comment on something that's going on in the nation of Italy, particularly mm -hmm. with their nationalist populist government, canceling Pride Month. Now, there are conflicting reports on this, but the gist of it is that the amazing Prime Minister, Georgia Maloney, has or is in the process of declaring June Family Pride Month that will celebrate the traditional family and thereby, in effect, replace the LGBT-inspired Pride Month. Now, I said there were conflicting reports because there are a number of sources out there that have countered with the fact that there's nothing official on Italy's government sites about this. But there's no question that if such a cancellation of Pride Month were to happen, that would be fully in accord with Prime Minister Maloney's conservative platform. Now, if you don't mm. know who... And this is coming after the Prime Minister of Canada visited and encouraged that they should embrace the LGBTQ community more. Italy's new Prime Minister is Georgia Maloney. She's a leader of the political party known as the Brothers of Italy. They get their name from the first line of Italy's national anthem. And she's an absolute firebrand and perhaps the single greatest defender of traditional family values in international government today. You often hear her just railing against globalism and the World Economic Forum for trying to erase our national identities, our roots, so we could just become cogs in their consumerist manipulated world. So she often declares openly, I am Georgia, I'm a woman, I'm a mother, I'm Italian, I am Christian, and you will not take that from me. And she's all of that. Now, the latest European-wide poll show that Maloney is officially the single most popular government leader in the whole of the European Union. She has a 52% approval rating among Italians, which is huge for wow. Italian politics or European politics in general. Remember, European politics uh, and particularly Italian politics are multi-party politics. And so for one leader, one leader among all these different parties, in this case, uh, leader of the Brothers of Italy, for that leader to garner that level of support is very, very impressive. It suggests nothing short of a very real paradigm shift going on in Italian politics, where the politics is moving way to the right, the nationalist, populist, and traditionalist right. And yeah. that would include or perhaps even center on restoring the traditional family as the single most important political policy in the nation. Now, we I think Italians are proud of what she's doing. I mean, I saw some comments that reflected that people like it. Are seeing a huge backlash against Pride Month in Italy, okay? Italy's demographics are in a free fall, right? They're well below the 2.1 replacement level to maintain their current population. And Giorgio Maloney has led the efforts to restore pro-life, pro-traditional family policies to mm -hmm. revive Italy's fertility level and by implication, their future survival as a nation. Right. And so just the other day, the right wing government in Italy's uh, region known as Lazio, it's uh, where the city of Rome is, the most prominent population center there. The government there, led by President Francesca Rocca and backed by Prime Minister Maloney, they have just officially withdrawn their government support from Rome's annual LGBT pride parade. Now, this is huge because you've got the government of a major European city basically saying they no longer support public displays of Pride Month. Mm -hmm. They're done with it. Now, again, this is why I'm curious to see whether or not this possible official cancellation of Pride Month plays out in Italy. If Roman officials are saying they're no longer going to back this stuff anymore, how much longer until the national government rejects it as well? Now, again... Don't expect the legacy media to be covering this sh no, shift, this back. Definitely not. Flash. Even if they do, they're going to make it seem in a victimized way. It's like the prime minister of Italy is trying to kill these people and that's why she has chosen to do this. I mean, that's what the media sounds like, I think. <laughs> against Pride Month. I witnessed the way the media lies about and manipulates this issue firsthand when I was in Verona back in 2019 when I was speaking at the World Congress of Families. I saw again with my own eyes two back-to-back -back demonstrations. The first one on Saturday, which was a radical left-wing LGBT uh, march that was protesting our conference. And it was featured prominently on CNN and all the major legacy media outlets. But then on Sunday, the very next day, there was an even bigger march. It was a massive pro-life rally, pro-traditional family rally. Tens of thousands of supporters came out 
throughout marching throughout the city of Verona. And guess what? All the showing. cameras, all the reporters that were covering the LGBT march, LGBT march the previous day, they were all gone. <laughs> they were all gone for pro life rally Sunday. I remember looking in vain uh, with via a Google search to find anything on the pro life march. It was all centered on the LGBT rally of that previous Saturday. So I've seen how the media lies, manipulates firsthand about this. But I can assure you, what's happening in Italy is real. And if George Maloney does cancel Pride Month, it would be the first step in the restoration of traditional family values that will not just save the future of Italy from demographic disaster, but will hopefully inspire other European nations to follow suit as well. <laughs> God bless. Yeah, I feel like we've gotten to the point where things are going to turn around. Things are going to revert or how do you call it? Resets, factory, factory resets. Things will go back to the default orientation. Personally, by natural principle, I believe anything that doesn't follow continuity is usually indicative of a problem. Whatever that might mean to you, I'm not going to explain for them. But yeah, that was a good video by, let me see his name. I think Dr. Turley is the name again. Steve Turley. Yeah, that was a very good video. And if you want us to check out some more from him, feel free to do so. I feel like that's the third video we've seen of him. But if you want us to see some more, feel free to let me know in the comment section and I will bring some more. It's the end of this one. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a wonderful day. Peace.